Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Code with Akhil. In this video, I'll be talking about interface and abstract class. What is interface? An interface in the C sharp is a type definition similar to a class, except that it has only method declaration down by its contract. If so, then what is benefit of interface? As of now, just make a note that it is the responsibility of a child class which is inheriting the interface to implement the method definition. So talking about the benefits of interface. So without bothering about implementation part, we can achieve the security of implementation. Second advantage is that in c -sharp, multiple inheritance is not allowed in case of class. However, you can achieve interface to make use of it as you can implement more than one interfaces. Third advantage is that it can be used to achieve the total abstraction. Talking about the ways of interface implementation, there are two ways by which you can implement the interface in the child class. First is implicit way of implementation and second is explicit way of implementation. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So for demonstration, let's create one interface. Interface tab tab, say as student. You can use I as an convention, it's a good practice before the interface name. As I said before, interface is incomplete without the class. So let's implement the class which will implement the iStudent interface. As soon as I do the mouse over on this interface, you can see it is giving me these two options. One is to implement the interface implicitly and second is to implement interface explicitly. Let's implement interface implicitly. So this is the way it gives you skeleton same as that of the method you have declared inside the interface. So CW tab tab and This is student method display. So when I go to client, which is my console application, let me instantiate this class student as equal to new student. When you do s dot, you can see display method is getting called. If it is from the application, here we go. You can see the method. This is student method display. So question is, how does interface solve multiple inheritance? In our earlier video, in the inheritance we saw, c -sharp does not support multiple inheritance in case of class. So let's create another interface, say IIT student. And let's make this class to implement this interface as well. Now if I do the mouse over on this interface and implement the interface explicitly so as you can see the method skeleton has interface name dot method name which states that this display method belongs to i student interface and in this case this display method belongs to iit student uh, interface so how do we instantiate it i equal to new student you can instantiate student class but you can assign it to the interface now if i use i dot display this will be calling the method of iit student and for i student i1 equal to new student i1 dot display this method will be calling the i uh, i student interface method let's click on this and say f12 you can see this pointing to the IIT student interface. In this scenario, it is pointing to I student. So this is the way with the help of interface we can achieve multiple inheritance. An abstract class is a type definition similar to interface, but it has some differences. So abstract class can have concrete method, that is method with definition, unlike interface. And also abstract class cannot be instantiated, but abstract class has constructor and abstract class can be subclassed. Let's flip to Visual Studio. For demonstration, let's create one abstract class. Let's tap tap. Let me just make as abstract keyword here. So as to ensure that this is abstract class. So let's make this class a student. Let's have a concrete method that is method with definition. This is concrete 
method in student abstract class if i give a build it will not throw any error so abstract class can have concrete method if i use public Instruct registration. So, if I use abstract keyword, that will tell to CLR that this method must be overridden by the child class the student. Let me create another class at the student which is inheriting from the student. If you implement the child class to an abstract class. And if you do the mouse over this child class, you can see to implement the abstract class. So it overrides the method which is declared as abstract, not the display method. So let's give a definition to this method. Let's say this method is registration, is for registration. So how to call this method? If I instantiate child class in the client, if I do i dot, you can see I can see the display method, I can see the registration method, I can call both the method i dot registration. Let's run the client. You can see. This is concrete method in the student abstract class and this method is for registration. Both the method, the concrete method and the method which is overridden in the child class, both method has been called. So talking about another question in abstract class, can abstract class have constructor? Let's do that. Yes, we can have the constructor. Let me give you build. You can see build succeeded. So if abstract class has a constructor, then can we instantiate the abstract class? Let's give it a try. Let me build it. You can see, cannot create an instance of abstract class or interface student. So we cannot instantiate abstract class or interface. So I have just started few points about the differences between the interface and abstract class. Interface supports multiple inheritance, but abstract class does not support multiple inheritance. Interface cannot have concrete method, but abstract class can have concrete method. Abstract class cannot have method access modifiers, but abstract class can have access modifier for the members. Interface is comparatively slow, but abstract class is comparatively faster. So in interface, you cannot have fields or the constants, but in the abstract class, we can have fields and constants. So guys, in this video, we learned what is interface, what the benefits of interface, what are different ways by which you can implement interface, and what is abstract class, can abstract class have constructor? If so, can we instantiate the abstract class or interface? All these questions that we try to cover in this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have come here for the first time, I will highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel. Also, share this link with your friends so that they can take advantage of this free online YouTube tutorial. So, in upcoming videos, we will learn some more advanced concepts about the C-Sharp. So, stay tuned.